Hey honeys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sinead and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I achieved this two-part braided ponytail. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So we're gonna jump straight into this ponytail tutorial. I decided that I was going to part her hair first. So I went ahead and parted her hair from ear to ear. And once I did that, I put the back section away. And then I wanted to part out the two parts in the front. So what I did was I created my middle part. I always like to do a middle part first. And then I made a part on each side that was even. So this middle section is gonna go straight back and the sides are gonna kinda swoop to the back. So I sectioned out the three sections and then I put them away. And once I've done that, I'm gonna start working with the back. So because her hair is on the thicker side, I decided to work in sections in the back as well. So I parted it out and then I used my hair tie, put it in a ponytail. Of course, I went in with my got to be free spray and sprayed that perimeter first, used my edge control brush, brushed it, and of course I went in with my blow dryer and just dried it a bit. You don't wanna dry it where it's too hard to comb through so please keep that in mind if you are going to be following this tutorial i also just went in and did the top portion the same thing you just want to make sure that it is in that ponytail so you're just combing it down into the ponytail making sure that it is nice and smooth and then you just go in with the blow dryer and dry it So now that her ponytail is slicked up, I just like to go back in with the got to be free spray. And this is where I don't mind it being solid. Like you can blow dry it where you can't comb it anymore. So this is when I like to do that. Once everything is up and I don't really have to do much to it. So I just go back around the perimeter, spray it, dry it, put it back into a ponytail. And that is that. Next, I'm going to start with the top portion. So I'm basically doing the same thing, guys. I am just going in sections, spraying the hair down, making sure it is nice and smooth, and drying it with the blow dryer. So you also wanna make sure that the parting is nice and neat and you're not drying the hair on top of the parting because you want it to look really crisp like you want to be able to see the parts So once this section is complete, I am just going to attach it to the ponytail. That way it just stays in place. And then I am going to work on the next section. Her hair did start um, reverting a bit. So I went in with my hot comb just on this little section right here. And I just straightened it a bit. So once I've done that, 
I'm just going to comb it in the direction that I want it. And I did tell you guys we're going to kind of like swoop it to the side and attach it to the ponytail. So I'm making it sit with the claw clip. And then I'm going to spray it. That way I have more stability when I am combing through the hair. So I'm just kind of swooping it down and around. And then I'm going to connect it to the ponytail. So the same thing I did on this side is the same thing I'm doing on the opposite side and then I'm just going to comb it all together and put it into one ponytail. So as I said before, once I have everything in a ponytail, I like to go over it and just make it solid. So I do go back in, spray the got to be spray, and then I fully dry it. That way it does not move. So I did that to the entire top section and I just went ahead and did my ponytail again. You always want to make sure you are taking out that hair tie and redoing it every time you comb through the hair so today I am using a 1B color expressions of braiding hair three comes in a pack and this was the 52 inch so I'm just gonna go ahead lay one part of the braiding hair on top of her hair and put the next one in front of her because I'm using that elastic band and putting the hair into a ponytail so once I tie this onto her ponytail, I just take that piece that's laying in front of her face and bring it straight back and you have everything in one so it makes it much easier to start braiding. But before I start braiding, I always like to do my wrap. So I just spray some got to be free spray on that wrap and just start wrapping it around. You do wanna make sure you have a firm hold when you're doing your wrap so it doesn't come out, so it's not loose. And you always wanna make sure that it's nice and smooth. So make sure you are literally pulling it through with your fingers and making sure that the hair is nice and smooth. It makes a big difference. So once I wrap it, I'm just gonna go ahead and dry it with my blow dryer and that is it. So unfortunately, I did not record me blow drying this wrap, but you can do it. <laughs> I did do it. But now I just wanted to let you guys know when I do my braided ponytails, I do like to section out the pieces that I will be adding in. So it's much easier when I want to add in pieces. So I just start braiding. I also like to try to cover as much of the person's natural hair my natural hair whenever i'm doing a braid that way it stays in longer and it just looks better so as you can see i'm already adding in pieces and i have them on i'm just i just have them laying on a table to be honest so just in case you guys want an easier way to do this i do suggest spreading out the hair and making sure you have small pieces that you can just pick up while you're braiding.
Now that her braid is done, I'm going in with my mini flat iron and I'm just curling her edges. And then I'm using my edge control and I'm just styling them. I also boiled some hot water and dipped her braid. Honestly guys, you do not want the water to be too hot. I do like to mix it with some cool temperature water because that braid will look <laughs> very sluggish. So sometimes I also just like to stretch the braid out a bit, especially if the water is a bit hot and it's looking thin where I did go ahead and wet it. So another tip is you can also just spread it out so it just looks more natural. But that is basically it. I just went in with my gloss spray and I also went in with my olive oil oil sheen. And this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love doing braided ponytails. It's one of my favorite things to do. So if you have tried this, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you guys feel about this. This two part method, I see it all over social media and I like it. I personally like it. I feel like it brings something different and makes your hairstyle look different with just that little extra touch. So yeah, if you have made it this far, I hope you subscribe to my channel. I have so many other hair videos on my channel, especially when it comes to ponytails. So I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.